हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू एटीन लेक्चर ऑफ डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ रिमोट सेंसिंग डेटा कोर्स दिस इज ए न्यू टॉपिक एंड इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इमेज मर्जिंग एंड मोजिंग टेक्निक्स यू नो दैट नाउ इट इज लॉट ऑफ चॉइसिस ऑफ डेटा इज अवेलेबल देर आर वेरी हाई रेजोल्यूशन डेटा स्पेशल रेजोल्यूशन डेटा अवेलेबल एंड मल्टी स्पेक्ट्रल डेटा इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल and sometimes we require to uh, merge these two uh, data sets and can create a new product which is, which becomes much more useful secondly this merging can also be exploited in chain detection studies and we will be seeing and during this uh, discussion we will be seeing uh, some examples uh, as well secondly a lot of data has since available and we sometime we need to cover a large area with relatively higher spatial resolution data and therefore one scene cannot cover that our area of interest there might be 10 or 20 scenes so that we we download these scenes and then create a mosaic and everyone would like to have a mosaic which is seamless that uh, and the joint of two scenes should not be visible at all so the data is acquired on different dates or time but still the aim is to uh, create a seamless mosaic so we will be discussing these two main things how digital image merging can be done what are the different options are available few options we would be able to only cover here there are various other techniques are being developed on image merging because these are being developed because the large amount of remote sensing data is now available and most of that data is also available free of cost and the mosaicing as well so let's start this uh, merging one that uh, image what is basically amazing merging or image fusion we say that the multi sensor image fusion is the process of combining relevant information from two or more images into a single image so we might be looking for uh, exploiting a spatial resolution of one sensor's image and a spectral resolution of another this is also merging merging might be creating a different kind of uh, merge image which is the same resolution but two different dates for chain detection studies and so resulting image will be more informative than any of the input images so if you look the individual images you may not see those things may not interpret that thing but if you have a created a merged product then it is much more useful in remote sensing applications the increasing availability of a space bound sensors and images provides opportunities for different image fusion techniques several applications require high spatial and high spectral resolution in a single image and these two together may not be available but one, if we know how to merge them then when we can create the same product so image fusion techniques allow the integration of different information sources and the fused image can have complementary spatial and spectral resolution characteristics and the in satellite imaging or satellite based remote sensing two types of images are available and uh, panchromatic which are covering a and quite wide part of uh, visible part of ems spectrum and uh, generally with uh, high resolution high spatial resolution and multi spectral images with relatively coarser resolution the example is i can give here that like uh, in irs 1c1d we had two sensors one was the pen which has the 5.8 uh, meter resolution and uh, a list 3 sensor which was multi spectral and it has a uh, 23.5 cm and uh, uh, 23.5 meter spatial resolution so pen uh, had a high resolution but single channel and uh, black and white kind of images and whereas you had multi spectral but relatively uh, lower spatial resolution and therefore for creating a new product which will have higher spatial resolution and colors or spectral characteristics as well then we can create such products using pen and this 3 data similarly with other sensors the different combinations can be created in order to create this we need to exploit 
this is a color cube which we have already discussed in previous lectures. So, if you if you think that you have taken out a cone out of a color cube, then the base of the cone will have this uh, a Newton disc and all colors are here which uh, are represented here through this uh, marking as U and three mem extreme members are red, green, blue are also there in between cyan, magenta, yellow is there and then this and uh, the you know the axis of this cone will have the in intensity representation and then the radius will represent the saturation. So, this uh, we exploit this uh, 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 characteristics of a color cube or the cone, color cone and then create these uh, fused image. This is one technique of doing this thing. And I am going to take an example uh, as I have already indicated that IRS 1C pen which has 5.8 meter resolution and IRS list 3 which has 23.5 meter resolution. So, this was the multispectral, the pen was pen chromatic black and white. So, first thing is image to image registration that you need to register uh, image to image that they fits or they stack together very nicely. Now, registered pen uh, will be kept on one side whereas, the re registered FCC will be split it for and that is because it is a FCC. So, it will be uh, split it from RGB domain to IHS domain that is the intensity U and saturation domain. As you know in color space, color cube, color space you can transform from one plane maybe RGB plane to IHS plane and this is what it is being done here. So, this transformation from RGB domain to IHS is possible and this can be done on any standard digital image processing software or photo editing softwares as well. And so that now you are having instead of three components RGB three bands data which has started from here. Now, you are having three different components one is intensity image, U image and saturation image. Now, very uh, trickier thing is that the in, uh, intensity image is dropped here or, uh, or intensity image is replaced by the registered pen image and then backward transformation that is IHS to RGB and then you get a colored image as mentioned here that IHS to RGB transformation is there and you get a color uh, merged image having a spatial resolution of 5.8 meter but multispectral characteristics and the results I will show you. This is the black and white image of 11 February 1997 of and Delhi region. And th this is uh, a 5 meter resolution, this is panchromatic image, single band image and here it is multispectral image. So, 3 bands have been used of list 3 having a, a special resolution of 23.5 meter of the same date as uh, sorry different dates this is 11 February, this is 7th November does not matter cloud conditions and that remain same. Then you can uh, merge uh, this product as indicated through that earlier flow chart and a new a product is created fused or merged product which is having a higher spatial resolution, but at the same time uh, multispectral characteristics as well. I will show you a zoom part from the same image. So, this is the multispectral image in RGB component. This is the pen image as you can see this is the example of a uh, golf course having 18 holes here. And when you see the pro and the final product, this is what you see that all these details which are not possible in list 3 image because have having 23.5 meter resolution now are visible in merge image. But the same time the details which are available in pen image though in black and white because in pen chromatic image, but uh, here you see in colors. So, this is the advantage of merging and this merging technique this based on this uh, RGB to IHS and dropping the intensity image and replacing it is a very easy thing which can be done. But the, the, the prior the requirement is that these two images which you one is trying to merge have to be registered very accurately. If they are registered accurately then you can create a very sharp product. Sometimes these product are also called pen sharp product 
because your image looks much sharper than if I look only this uh, F FCC or false color composite image having uh, relatively coarser spatial resolution but multispectral. So, that is why it is called pen sharp. Pen pen chromatic data is used and a sharper colored image has been created. Now, a technique is almost same, applications are different, input data is also different here and then new types of a new way of exploiting the same technique. Here uh, instead of having two different spatial resolution images, we can involve two different dates from same sensor of the same area and can create a new product. The two examples are here, I have involved in case of a pre-earthquake image, these are this is multi uh, uh, this is a pan chromatic image, post earthquake is also pan chromatic image and uh, this is a georeferencing. So, that means registration image to image registration has to be done for both dates images and when you create a, a color composite. So, this is not a standard one. So, a new name is given pseudo color transformation. What, what is done in pseudo color? That is the post image is having assigned the red color pre channel pre uh, 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 earthquake uh, image is repeated twice giving green and blue color. So, you get an output uh, with this pen. The similarly using this 3 data a different combination is also created and then outputs are different. So, we will see the both outputs. So, first let us go for the pen one. On the left side what you are seeing is a pre earthquake image and just after the 5 days a post earthquake image was also acquired and this is about a earthquake which occurred on ni uh, 29th March 1999 in Uttarakhand which is called Chamoli earthquake of 6.3 magnitude. And what you see here in if I compare these two images that uh, there are new landslides which has appeared here. But one has to compare these two and while doing comparison one can make mistakes and the full information about the changes which has occurred between these 5 days induced by an earthquake event cannot be exploited. So, the best thing is to do this pseudo color transformation and by this the both pre and post images through, pseudo, through that the same image fusion concept has been exploited here and red colors are indicating the changes uh, which has occurred between 5 days in terms of reflectivity because of if a landslide has occurred all the vegetation will get uprooted and fresh surface are exposed which will have high reflection and therefore uh, if I assign for post image the red color then I am getting the changes uh, are in red color and uh, uh, the other colors are showing and uh, basically no changes especially the white one. White one that means between post and pre there is no change in the reflectivity and therefore everything re will remain white no color is assigned whereas blue and green color are saying that there are also no changes. And uh, if I mask everything just keep the red color then I can exactly map what are the changes which has occurred between 5 days induced by that earthquake event as has been done in case of this earthquake about these two landslides. So, uh, playing with the same concept, but inputs are different. There in first example, the uh, input was pen was higher spatial resolution, list 3 was relatively lower spatial resolution. Pen is a pen chromatic that is multispectral. Here both are um, pen chromatic images of two different dates and in between there is an earthquake event and this is what the chain detection studies uh, in which we can also exploit the same image fusion. Another example from the same earthquake, two, two areas, uh, uh, same areas with the two uh, dates images which you are seeing 26th March, 31st March in between earthquake has occurred, there were already some landslides. And after this, uh, the existing landslides have enlarged and few new one has also come which you can see on the right side of the image, especially in the center part of this image. 
and when we create this pseudo color transform image exactly we know where changes have occurred in terms of reflectivity and that means that the new lens lights or existing lens lights have widened and this is what you can do you can mask everything keep a white part and red part and get the complete accurate map of the lens light affected part of that area. So, this is very good advantage uh, of digital image processing especially pseudo color transformation technique for chain detection studies. Similarly, in many other cases uh, we have done exploited the same way and uh, here instead of just pen we had the multi spectrum no problem. The same way it can be exploited and you can still can create a pseudo color transform image. And if you are having one uh, having very high resolution data and one is working in earthquake related studies then uh, changes at the level of house house level changes can also be detected and which was done by us in case of Bhuj earthquake that uh, the Bhuj town was maximum affected. This is again pseudo color, this is pseudo color image, this is the zoom part, right part is the zoom part and wherever you are seeing the red patches, these are the changes which has occurred between those, those, uh, those dates in between the earthquake has occurred and we attribute these changes uh, to that 26 January 2001 Bhuj earthquake. Another example, instead of using pen data, in this in this example, I have exploited the infrared uh, channel data. So, multispectral images from coming from list three, infrared channel was taken, and uh, you know that uh, uh, the uh, the water or moisture uh, will have a completely different signatures in infrared. That means that if a new uh, what happened in case of this Bhuj earthquake that new water bodies in some parts of earthquake affected region appeared and that means that you will get more black areas or darker areas in your post earthquake image. So, what in this case what it was done for the pre image red color was assigned for post image green and blue was assigned. And therefore, you, you are seeing the changes. So, scheme assignment of uh, this color scheme has changed compared to the pen data, but the results which you are seeing that all red areas are showing the changes in terms uh, of uh, water bodies or moisture between those two dates in, and in between the earthquake has occurred. So, here the two dates were 4th January, 29th January on 26th earthquake has occurred. So, the post earthquake image was very close to this one and it could record uh, the appearance of water bodies and this is not simple thing. There is a co-seismic phenomena associated with an earthquake event sometimes you can observe which is called liquefaction and this is the liquefaction mapping very accurate liquefaction mapping first time in the world was done and exploited using the pseudo color transformation technique. So, uh, merging is all right, but one can also expand little bit, do little bit innovations and uh, can create new products which are very, very useful. One more example I will give you, uh, instead of uh, inputting two, uh, uh, two images having different uh, spatial resolution or uh, image of the same spatial resolution of two different dates, one can also merge a map with image and this is the example is uh, shown here because we were looking the changes which has occurred in this Dal Lake region of Srinagar, Jammu and Kashmir between 1968 and 99. 98. That means the 30 years time difference, we were looking the changes in terms of vegetation growth at the perimeter of the river and this lake, Dal Lake. So, we had a very uh, large scale survey of India map of Dal Lake region. So, we scanned it and treated as a uh, colored image. And now this colored image in which uh, wherever the vegetation or the water bodies was here, the blue color that component was taken along with this and a new product was created. So, what you are seeing in this one, wherever the vegetation has grown inside the dull lake and the reference line is 1968. So, in 30 years time difference, 
whatever the changes which has occurred in terms of vegetation growth are all are in this merged or fused image. So, this is also a pseudo color image, but the it is not in that sense is true one because one input is map another scanned map another one is the satellite image, but still if registration has done very accurately then one can exploit the same tools for this purpose as well and for chain detection study. So, here if you see this original map you would find that there were connectivity between Dal Lake and Nagin Lake and uh, the Sikaras used to go very easily through one lake to another. But later on in 1998 when the image was acquired as you can see at places this has been blocked because of growth of vegetation or some farming practices within the water channels. Also in the northern part or on this um, edge uh, the gate edge you are seeing the encroachment of the vegetation within the lake body and this is one zoom part of uh, this area which you are seeing here this is the zoom part you may showing this is the map uh, exploiting the blue color component here is the corresponding satellite image of 1998 this is 68 this is 1998 and this is what a fuse product a pseudo color transform image where you are seeing all changes in in the vegetation or in water body which has occurred in last 30 years. Similarly, one more example from northern part of the lake this is the map this is the uh, satellite data having 30 years time difference and this is the uh, merge image. So, not only two images can be merge of different spatial resolution but two images of the same spatial resolution from same sensor but of two different dates can be merged or a map and image can also be merged. Similarly, we can also exploit the same concept same tool in instead of having a map one can have a digital elevation model or a product derived from digital elevation model which is a shader relief model. And in this example this is what we have done this is the satellite image which is suffering from false topographic perception phenomena that means the, the like here if I say uh, that the river is flowing on it seems that river is flowing on the ridge, but we know topographically geomorphologically that a river cannot flow on the ridge. river will flow always in the valley. But this is the pseudoscopic vision which we get and it, this vision creates us a false topographic perception about the topography. So, we wanted to if we want to get rid of this one then the same concept can be applied that means that if I, I can if I rotate this image by 180 degree that means I am forcing sun from southeast quadrant this is the exact as you can see this is the sun azimuth to a northwest quadrant and when the viewer and the illumination source are in two opposite hemispheres then one would not see FTPP of a hilly terrain in, in images of hilly terrain and this is what has uh, seen here. So, uh, this image is having sun azimuth here corresponding digital elevation was create model was created and then a, a shader relief model was created having a, a having a sun azimuth 340 degree. So, if you add a 163 plus 180 it becomes 343.3 that means now in this one I have assumed the illumination source roughly in the northwest corner. And if you see even in the shader relief model you would find that the, this Bhagirathi valley which is a tributary of Ganges have gone in the valley which is a correct perception. Now, we are having two products one is the satellite image false color composite which is suffering from FTPP another is the pseudo relief model uh, which is not suffering from FTPP. So, same concept same thing can be exploited they have to be registered perfectly one and then splitting of this uh, your uh, remote sensing image into three components IHS. And so, this is what is done IHS is done and this I of the satellite image is dropped and replaced by this shader relief model and then backward transformation. So, once you do it now we will we get an image a product which is not suffering from FTPP, 
but is still in color because the pseudo relief model is just a uh, is not having any surface information is it just having elevation information but here because of the satellite over thing you are having now surface information and no effects of ftpp so this way also one can exploit this image fusion or Im uh, image merging technique so the word definitely is only for images it means that it is only for images but it is not it is the concept basically so instead of having uh, two images of different spatial resolution one can have two images of different dates but same spatial resolution of maybe from same sensor or can have one map an image or can have a image and a shader relief model and then still can merge and can create a beautiful product like here and can resolve a issue which in this example is false topographic perception phenomena uh, one more example for this that uh, this one first one is what you are seeing a satellite image uh, which is a, a, a raw image not enhanced and then you are having a digital elevation model then a shadow relief model which is opposite to the satellite image illumination is created in which the river is flowing in the valley in original image if you see the image, river is flowing on the ridge which is in correct perception here is the correct perception but this is purely based on elevation data does not have any uh, ground coverage or uh, land use or land cover here and uh, when we merged and create a, uh, a new image which is uh, uh, the intensity part has been replaced with the shadow relief model and then product is, is visible here and uh, so here the river is in the valley all three together this is the now processed uh, uh, FCC here the intensity component have been uh, has been replaced by the shadow relief model and then backward transformation to RGB uh, domain and he, this is what you see here. So there are various ways of exploiting uh, the concept of image shoes and image merging. It is not necessary that one should have only uh, images of two different spatial resolution one can have of same resolution different dates one can have map and image one can have image and suddenly model there can be various permutation and combination the ultimate aim is to exploit these tools digital image processing tools for our own uh, applications and benefits to and using these uh, concept of either color space or image fusion and uh, all it has to be followed the registration part one has to remember it has to be very accurate now we come to the second part of uh, this discussion that is the image mosaicing as i have been i have mentioned that there are uh, sometimes your area of interest is larger than a image because each image will have a fixed size from a, fix, a sensor so it might be covering an area of say 140 kilometer by 140 kilometer but your area of interest is larger than so what do you do what well, you have to create a mosaic or college kind of thing and this is a and done like this that uh, in this schematic two uh, maps are shown but the same thing can be done in case of satellite images and then you merge but you do not want to see the seam you want to create a product which is a completely seamed seamless product that is the aim and this is this is possible with digital image processing techniques one example is given here that uh, mosaic using a uh, template area of interest that I declare this is my area of interest two images are here and uh, uh, this uh, can be done in a, a standard software like uh, EDAS and this example here and then you see a merged image and uh, in between of course on the edges you know that uh, this is having two scenes mosaic image the, you are having two scenes but if I cut this one then in the between there is no seam is visible so that is the advantage because uh, the histograms have been also equalized and uh, the seam part has been completely uh, removed from here and there are some other examples of create a new virtual mosaic again the example is coming from EDAS and uh, you get rid of the seam here the seam is little bit visible it disappears completely here 
lot of processings are possible. It is not necessary that one can have seam which is just a straight line, but you can have a seam which is an arbitrary line. So, this is another example that I can create a seam which is arbitrary line and again I merge this one and get it. Histogram matching in a, a image mosaicing is one of the very common technique. Here the three scenes are given, they are having different represent different colors, maybe belonging to different dates, but the maybe the same sensor of course. And then uh, by matching histogram, color corrections can be done and you can create a seamless mosaic which is given in this example. And it is not very difficult to do it. So, mosaicing is a very common process, but one has to do it many times when your area of interest is larger than one single image. Another example is he here given by balancing by excluding areas and you balance the areas here because otherwise the seam, seams are visible very clearly. So, you can create a product in which uh, 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 this uh, seams will not be uh, visible. So, uh, the uh, purpose of mosaicing, digital image pro in, mo in processing, the mosaicing is that we do not want to see the seam. Imply whether uh, uh, histogram matching or color matching or whatever, various techniques are available and by which we can create seamless mosaic. So, this brings to the end of this discussion. Thank you very much.